الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلوات والسلام على رسوله الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters, how are you guys doing? I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this lesson easy on you guys. I want you to know before you do this that learning the letters is not difficult per se, but it is the most difficult part about learning how to read. So once you get these letters down, everything else is going to be easier. So make sure you work hard with this. Uh, make sure you memorize them as best as you can. So what I want you to do is I want you to just memorize this first line and then stop the video and then memorize the second line and then stop the video and then memorize the third line and stop the video. Yani stop the video, leave, go to Quizlet, use the Quizlet, search up Ahl al-Quran in there, um, use it to help you memorize and then come back to this video and continue with your memorization. Now, quick uh, disclaimer. Yes, we're on a program. It says that you have to complete this before the next assignment and the next assignment begins. However, if you're someone who's struggling with your letters, do not worry. You can push the, uh, you can like offset all of the Arabic assignments because you're going to have time to catch up. So for example, I give you Arabic assignment one, two, three, four, and then I give you like three weeks off of, of Arabic, for example. So those three weeks later, you have time to, to take your letters, say, for two or three weeks. But I think it is very doable. If you make flashcards, if you use the Quizlet, you can memorize these without a problem, inshallah. And, you know, you listen to the letters, look at the letters before you go to sleep, when you wake up. Just go really hard in your studying of these letters. Again, I promise you, you're going to benefit from them tremendously. So without further ado, uh, we're going to discuss a little bit of the characteristics of each letter, but that's going to be in our Tajweed class. But we'll cover some of them. So, what we have here, what is commonly called an alif, is not an alif, it is a hamza. This is a hamza. Now, if you wanted, to, when you're seeing the alphabet, to say alif, ba, ta, tha, I don't have a problem with that. However, just know that this, in the beginning, is a hamza. You can't say alif, asad, or aswad. That a, a, a sound, that's a hamza. That comes from the throat, all the way in the bottom. It's the opening and closing of your vocal cords. A, u. E, sama, sama, at the end, just cutting off the sound like that, that is what a hamza does. A, o, e. So it comes on top of what looks like an alif, but it is a hamza. It also comes on top of what looks like a wow, but it is a hamza. It also comes on top of what looks like a ya, but it is a hamza. So in our qira'ah, some qira'ahs they do different things with these, but in our qira'ah, these are all the same exact thing like the in pr pronunciation a u e a u e a u e period okay and that is the hamza now the ba should be a simple letter similar to our english b ba bu b and when we want to stop on it we do a, a trick called qalqala ab 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 has a little bounce because if we didn't do it you wouldn't hear the letter it would just say ab ab so we do a thing called bounce but we'll take that later next we have the ta Ta. And guys, this is a ta, not a ta. Ta. It doesn't come from the teeth. It comes from the ta, from the back of your teeth. That's where you place your tongue. And we're going to discuss it in our makharij video, inshallah. So, ta, tu, ti. And when we stop on it, we do something called hems. There's a trick here in order so you can hear the letter. Otherwise, you wouldn't hear it. It would just say, at, at. So, what do we do? Do we do qalqala like the ba? No. We do something called hems. We let out air. We say, at, at, and in fact, it is only this and the calf that you let out air with, uh, and no, uh, that you force out air with, and no other letter. The other letters, like the tha, automatically have air. Okay, so now we have this tha with three dots on top. Three, three dots is tha, okay? Two dots is ta, two ta, okay? You can use little tricks like that. The dot is on the bottom, so we say bottom ba, ba. You can use those tricks, all right? This is a tha, thu, si, s, s, when you want to stop on it. Okay, I hope that one is a simple one. Jim, very similar to our English G. This is how we pronounce it. Not je, je, how some people in their cultures pronounce it. We need to leave our cultures behind us, our accents behind us. Every single one of us from every nationality, we all have a letter or two that we struggle with or a bunch of letters that we struggle with and we have slang that we speak with, we need to keep that outside of the Qur'an. In the Qur'an, we need to pronounce it the way it is supposed to be pronounced. This is ja, not ja. It is ja, ju, ji, similar to our English, ji. 
And when we want to stop on it, we do qal qala, we say aja, aja. Okay, next we have the ha, and I put a dot under this H for you because it's not a regular H, it's ha. Okay, and we have to learn how to say this letter. It is very easy. There is no one who cannot say this letter. Imagine you want to clean your screen, right, with your breath. What do you do? You say, right, or you want to clean the glass. What do you do? Not clean or write on it, whatever. That's the sound that the ha makes. So everyone is able to do that. Everyone knows how to pick up their phone, put it against their mouth, and clean their screen and say, that is the ha. So we say, ha, hu, hi, ah, ah. Okay, and it is not okay to say, Rahman Rahim. Rahman Rahim. Okay, we have to learn how to do that. Next, we have the Kha. Kha. I have another dot under here. This is a, 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 not like an Eng, a English K. This is a new letter you have to uh, learn how to say. It is Kha, Kha, Kha. Again, every letter is doable by any single person on the face of the earth. It just takes a little bit of practice. It takes understanding where the letter comes from, and it takes understanding the mechanics of them. We're going to discuss their mechanics in a different video, but just for now, try your best to say Kha, Kha. Like you had a loogie, you had a booger in, in, in your mouth, you had some spit, you wanted to take it out, and you said right? Kha. That is the sound of the Kha. We say Kha, Kha, Khi, Ech, Ech. And it is Mufakhan, it is a heavy letter. We don't say Kha, Khalid. We say Kha, Khalid. Okay? Next we have the Dal, Dal. Okay? We say Da, Du, Di, Ade. We do Khalqala when we stop on it. Ade. Alright? Next we have the Dal. The Dal, similar to our English that or those the same way your tongue vibrates on the bottom of your teeth that is how we say the thal az zu the the az that is our thal next we have the ra ra which is similar to the english r but it is a little different than r it is r not r but r and we also don't roll this r r we say er, er. We're going to take how not to roll it in a tajweed lesson, but very uh, quickly. Just keep the tip of your tongue uh, open, the tip, the very tip open, and allow air to escape. Er, er, er. But if you close that tip of your tongue and you, you're very stiff with it, air is going to force itself out. It's going to say er, right? So er, er. And it is a heavy letter. We say ra. Uh, when it has a fatha, what we say ri, it's a light, it turns into a light letter. We're going to discuss that in the tajweed lessons. Ra, ru, ri, el. Next we have the za. You put your teeth on top of teeth and you vibrate za. The same way we say zu or our z. Za, zu, z, ez, ez, when you stop on it. So stop there. Use your quizlet. Study those letters. Study their characteristics. Keep practicing with them. Uh, maybe write them, of course, I'm not maybe, you should write them, you should have written them before you watch that, but it's okay if you didn't, write it right now, write the Hamza, Ba, Ta, Tha, Jim, Ha, Kha, Dal, Dal, Ra, Za, okay? Next line, we have the Seen, similar to our English, S, Sa, Su, Si, S, and it's a letter, if you notice, it whistles, Sa, Su, Si, S, S, okay, that is the scene. Next we have the sheen, similar to our English, S, H. Shu, Sha, She, Ash, very simple letter. Next we have the Saad, Sa, Sa. I put a dot under because it's heavy. It's a heavy letter, it's Mufakham. We say Sa, Saad, Saad, Sa, Su, Sli, Else. And if you notice, it also whistles just like the scene. It's actually the same exact letter as the scene, except for that the saw is heavy and the scene is not. We say sa, sa, su, su, si, sli, s, else. Okay, that is the difference between those two. Make sure you make those correlations. And we're going to study in our tajweed, inshallah. Now the dad, the trickiest letter in the Arabic language. The Arabic language is actually known as Lughati dad, the language of the dad. There's no other language that has this letter. It is a letter that we will dedicate an entire class to, inshallah. But very quickly, it is da, da, 
ba, not va. Okay, va is a different letter, and it's not da. Okay, it comes from a similar place as the da, but it's heavy ba, and your tongue is in a different form. Your mouth is in a different form. We're going to discuss its details. Try to say ba, bo, boy, and when you want to stop on it, that's the trickiest part. A lot of people get this wrong. El, el, it's not just el. We don't in our fatha just say walabba, walabba. We say walabba, 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 walabba. It charges up and it drags. Okay, as we're going to see, this is a letter that drags the same way we say else. We need to say el the same length that this drags. This needs to drag, and a lot of people have difficulty with that. But we're going to cover it in our tajweed lessons, inshallah. Next we have the ta, which I didn't really know how to spell in English. I just put T-H-A. You can change that spelling if you like. I put a dot under the T. It's, it's different than anything we have in English. Ta, ta, ta. It, it's similar to the ta, but it's heavier. Ta comes from the same place. Ta, tu, tui. And when we want to stop on it, we do qalqala. Alto, alto, alto. I hope that is clear. Next we have the dha, dha, what I told you that the dad wasn't. A lot of people when they see dad, they say dha. A lot of people say Ramadan. It's not Ramadan, it's Ramadan with a dad. So this is a dha, similar to our dhal, but it's heavy. Dha, dhu, dhi, elv, Okay, very, very heavy letter there. Next we have the ayn, a, a. Ain. Okay, and it comes from your throat. Uh, your vocal cords are, are, are closed tight, allowing a little bit of air to come out, vibration in the back of your throat. I'm over exaggerating it to make it clear. It's just. But I'm on it. I want you guys to emphasize that pressure that's there in your throat and that vibration. Ah, 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 of course, a, a very new letter than uh, something that we have in English. And the same is true for the rain. A lot of people have trouble with the rain. Rain, just imagine you have water in your mouth and you want to gargle. What do you do? That is the rain. And it is a heavy letter. Next, we have the fa. Fa, the same way we say F in English, we're going to say F in Arabic. Fa, fu, fi, F. That should be a simple one for you guys. Next, we have the Qaf, which is kind of like the Q. I mean, not really, because Q is still a Kaf, to be honest. But it's just a heavy version. I use a Q for Qaf and a K for Kaf. doesn't really show the, the it doesn't give it its justice, but Qaf is heavy. And Qaf, the tongue is a little bit behind the Kaf. Kaf is ka, where the roof of your mouth is soft, uh, hard, I mean, ka, ku, ki. The qaf is the roof of your mouth where it's soft in the back. Qa, qu, qi, alqa. And we do qalqala, we want to stop on it. So qalqala, and it's a heavy letter. Qa, qa, qu, qi. Feel your tongue, like the, the back of your tongue on the roof of your mouth, all the way in the back of the roof of your mouth where it is literally soft, where the, where the, the, the meat uh, in, in your mouth, the roof of your mouth is soft. That's where the qa, Qu, qi, aqo comes from. If you move a little bit to the front and say ka, then it's an entirely different letter, which is this letter. Again, make sure you wrote these down and you're stopping here, okay? But the kaf, it is uh, closer to the front of our mouth than the qaf. Ka, where the roof of our mouth is hard. Ka, ku, ki, ak. And we let out uh, air on it when we stop. Like we said, the ta and the kaf are the only two letters we do that. Some other letters, they naturally have air, like the f, ah, uh, even s, you have some air coming out. But the kaf, uh, we let out air. We say ek, ek, okay? Ka, ku, ki, ek, similar to the k. All right. Next, we have the lam, very similar to our l, la, lu, li, l. Hope that is simple. It even looks like a backwards L. Next, we have the meme. Meme. Ma. Mu. Mi. And I drew it this way, but you would also find it uh, simply that way. That is a meme. Okay? Meme. Ma. Mu. Mi. M. M. And the meme and noon are special letters. Okay? So we say, let me just give you the noon. 
Nun, na, nu, ni, en. Now these are the only two letters that on top of the sound that comes from our mouth, it also comes from a different place, which is our nose, uh, from our nostrils. The, they call it nasalization. Ghun. And if you were to hold your nose and try to say one of these two letters, it wouldn't come out. Ad, ad. But any other letter, ba, fa, ha, la, I don't have a problem. But what I want to say, ba, or nu, I have a problem with it. So these are special letters. They have a ghun associated with them as well. Nasalization associated with them. We're going to take that later. Next we have the wow. Wa, wu, we, aw. And this is a special letter because it's also a haraf med. If there was a, if it was second and before it was a dhamma, we would say, ooh, it would extend the haraka. But this is something you guys don't know yet. We're going to take it later, inshallah. Don't worry about it. Next we have the ha, hu, he, ah, ah. And that should be pretty simple, I think. Next we have the alif. Now they tell you, if anyone ever tells you to say alif, tell them la. As in, la, I don't want to say the alif because I can't say the alif. You cannot say the alif by itself because it is second. You can't say any letter that is second by itself. And also, alif is a haraf med, as we're going to take in future lessons. So you can't say it by itself. So that's why you tell them la as in no. But also, as you're saying la, you did say the alif. That extension is what the alif is. When you say la or ba, fa, because normally it's just fa, la, na, no alif. But if I extend, that's the alif. Ba, fa, ja, that extension of my voice is what the alif is. I have it in red. And of course, we need a letter to attach to it and able to hear it. As you heard in all my examples, I had a letter before. Ba, fa, la. I could put any letter, but we chose the lam. If you're curious, why did they choose the lam? They said in lam at ta'rif, the alif helped the lam. So now the lam is coming back and helping the alif. A little tajweed joke for, for those who understand it. And we're going to talk about that lam ta'rif in just a second. Okay, so this is the alif. This is really what it is. You can't say alif aswad, alif arnab. It doesn't make sense. Alif is just an extension. It is, you can't start a word with a alif. Okay. Next we have, and also of course, alif is a haraf med. And the wow could be a haraf med, and the ya could be a haraf med. But the alif is always a haraf med. And we're going to take that in a future lesson. Next we have the ya. U, ye, a. Very simple letter, similar to our Y, A in English. How we say ya. Yeah. Someone tells you you want cookies, you tell them ya. Yeah. This is how our ya yeah is. Okay, and next, this is not really a part of the alphabet, but I include it in here because you really need to know it when you start opening up the Qur'an. This is not an alif, this is not a hamza, it is a hamzat wasl. Wasl meaning used for connecting, the connection hamza. Now, like we said, you can't begin a word uh, with a letter that is second. You guys don't know what that, mean, what that means yet. It's fine, we're going to take it later. But a word with no vowel. You can't begin with a word with it. So, if there's a word that begins with a second letter, they put this before it so you can read that word. Okay, like if you notice in all my examples, I say, yeah, you, ye, but when I want to give you what this sounds like with no vowel, I need a letter before, and I always said, a, I was using this guy, a, or I said, ra, ro, ri, and I use this guy to say, l, right? I could have used any other letter, I could have said, fell, or al, or al, it, is, it doesn't matter, but I chose the Hamza Tawasal because this is what the Quran uses a lot. Now, very simply, when you have, uh, I'll give you an example that we all know, um, unless you're, you're just converted today, but everyone knows the name Allah, right? Our Lord, okay? And the, what we think is the alif in Allah is actually Hamza Tawasil, and we say Allah, okay? That is the name of Allah. And in fact, that, um, that first letter that you see is a Hamza Tawasil, meaning it's not really a, a part of the name. This is the name, but the lam is sakin, the first one, so you can't say it by itself. So we need this Hamza Tawasil to say it. We say a, ah, l, a, ah, l, okay? Um, and when we continue from before it, if we're connecting before it, we actually skip the Hamza Tawasil and we say, if I ask any one of you guys to swear, what would you say? You'd say, wallah, or wallahi, right? Or we could even use a ta. Tell Allah, as Allah says in the Quran, tell Allah, right? Ta, tell, you jump and you skip this Hamza Tawasal. That is very, very common in the Quran. You're going to see from, from you know, the plethora of examples you're going to find uh, how easy it is. You're going to uh, get the hang of it. But whenever you connect before it, you skip the Hamza Tawasal. 
but whenever you start with that word, you use it. Also, you'd always find this Hamza Tawasala in Lama Ta'rif, L. How we say the in English? The is L. Okay, L whatever. I spelled that wrong, but L bait, right? L bait. Yeah, L. We say L bait. But if I want to say well bait, I'd skip this Hamza Tawasala. So, very briefly, that's what that is. We'll cover that in, in more detail. Um, how do you know? What haraka is on the Hamza Tawasal? How do you know if it's a or e or u? This is something we'll cover later, and you guys don't even know what harakat is yet, so you don't have to worry uh, about that one. So alhamdulillah, that, those are all the letters. Um, I hope that was clear. I hope Allah makes it easy on you to le learn your letters. Once you learn these, you've completed 60-70% of what reading is. It's just knowing your letters. Uh, and then the vowel that is associated with them, which we're going to take very soon. I ask Allah subhanahu wa to make it easy on you guys. And I ask him to keep you guys motivated and to make us from Ahlul Quran. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, the video is not over. <laughs> I forgot to give you guys the test. So, once you complete the test, then you can move on to the next video. So, the first part of the test is I'm just going to highlight letters. And I want you to say them before I say them. So this is, of course, assuming that you've paused the video, you used the Quizlets, you've studied, you have notes, you use flashcards, you did all these things, you think you memorized all the letters. Okay? So I'm going to take you through a warm-up just to be fair with you guys. We say, Alif. Or, excuse me. We say, Alif. Or, Hamza. Right? It's really a Hamza. Ba, Ta, Tha, Jim, Ha, Kha, Dal, Dal, Ra, Za. Sin, Shin, Saad, Lad, Ta, Dha, Ain, Ghain, Fa, Qaf, Kaf, Lam, Mim, Noon, Wow, Ha. It's, you can say Alif or Lam, Alif, they're both correct, but we're, we're focusing on the Alif, we'll call it an Alif. Ya, and a Hamzat, Wasl. Okay? Now, let me see if I can actually change. Okay? There you go. So now you can no longer see what I have um, in the, what, the the names of the letters. This is very good. Alhamdulillah, I didn't even know I could do that. That's good. Okay, so, okay, you can still see that. So for example, I'm just gonna highlight it like this and you have to say it before I say it, okay? Hamza. Saad. Ta. Wow. Meme. Ya Ha Dhal Okay, I hope you warmed up now. We're going to go a little bit faster. Ain Sheen Qaf Dhal Jim Ta Za Ba Sheen Mim Saad Lam Ha, va, ta, ha, tha, ba. Guys, if you beat me doing that, then you know your letters very, very well. Uh, and you're ready to move on to the next lesson. If you didn't, simply go back on the Quizlet, practice some more, look at your notes some more, keep reciting the letters. Make sure as you're listening to this, guys, you're reciting the letters out loud. Okay, also, I'm gonna end this video off by just reciting the letters again one more time, slowly, repeat them after I do. Try to pronounce it the way that I pronounce it. So, Hamza, Ba, Ta, Tha, Jim, Ha, Kha, Dal, Dal, Ra, Za, Sin, Shin, Saad, Baad, Ta, Dha, Ayn, Ghayn, Fa, Qaf, Kaf, Lam, Mim, Noon, Wow, Hamza, I'm sorry, Ha, Lam, Alif, Ya, Hamza, Wasl. Jazakum Allah khairan. See you guys in the next episode. Assalamu alaikum.